Malaprops were important. You know, that's from Sheridan's arrivals, Mrs. Malaprop. Important to show what a booby was. And, uh, you know, Edith, you got to go to a gynecologist. You know, he, uh, he had a feeling that uh, he was quite literate. He says, it's in the Bible, Edith, you got to read it. Corinthians 9, part 3 dots 2. 3 dots 2. But they bolstered the fact that uh, this, this was a boob. Mike didn't make uh, Mel's, and Archie did. And uh, also, the, there are expressions that are not Mel's that come from a, a, a twisted mind. You know, he'll say, well, you got the, you got the heaves and the, uh, the mix and you got all the things, you know, and, and they all keep their way, and that's what makes America great, son. And he, he followed his own mind. But this was a rather good man. He's a good father. He was a good friend, a hail fellow well met. He never really did anything rotten that I can think of. Uh, he was a, uh, a good grandfather, loved his grandson. Uh, and he stood up for what he believed in. We had a show where Edith, uh, one of Edith's uh, relatives dies and finds that she's living with another woman. And of course, there's a long play where Archie finally finds out, you know. And he says to her, he says, look, he says, you're a good person. Why don't you give up that stuff? And in his mind, this was, this was a good thing. This wasn't a bad thing. I don't think he ever did anything bad. He's very proud that Sammy Davis came to the house. He also said, you know, Sammy Davis sat right there, right, right there. He's a good friend of mine. And he and Jefferson got along pretty well. Their house door was always open to the Jeffersons and Lionel. And Lionel was always above Archie and mimicked Archie, and Archie never caught on to it. <laughs>